The main thing that's happened that I've seen over the last couple of cycles is that of a couple of Olympic cycles is that the psychologist is now not just for kind of a reactive um, person to look look after your mental state if you're in a, like an issue or you're redlining. It's almost like proactive and you're working on your strengths, not just your weaknesses. And I've done so much work for in the last, um, or my psychologist in the last kind of um, two years leading up to Rio, that I think that was the biggest gain that I had and um, ultimately would helped my training, it supported my training. So I was able to do those difficult skills without being worried or learning how to make that fear into focus, just learning different techniques to be able to calm down and focus or get that arousal level to the right, the right level. Well, I started working with Rudy probably about six or seven years ago now and at first I was not really complacent and I did not want to do strength and conditioning because I was scared of getting too big. So Rudy's done a lot even with just educating me on what things I need to do for trampoline and he's worked closely with my coach and myself to find the program that I'm comfortable with and things that I know help my body and help me get stronger so he's not only made a program for me that's helped me physically but he's also explained a lot of it and kind of made me understand my own body and my own sport a lot more as well. I think competition day for me was probably the biggest learning curve because I never used to eat on competition day because I never used to like the feeling of having food in my stomach and kind of spinning around if you've got adrenaline and nerves it used to kind of make me feel more sick so I used to avoid eating on competition days um, and that was purely I like the feeling of almost feeling light so that when you're on the trampoline like you feel a bit more powerful so we had to do a lot of work on what to eat when to eat it so that obviously I could feel my body in the right way but also not feel like weak from not eating and it was I was really reluctant at first to try because it's what I'd always done it's what I'd always worked so yeah, that was probably the biggest thing that I had to learn is what to eat and when to make sure I was getting something in me. The video analysis with Claire is um, just such a good tool uh, to be able to use in training. Um, um, she comes up with um, loads of analysis on our, our jumps on the trampoline, like what, where we're jumping, what times we're doing it at, and that can all be fed back um, in like an easy, easy format for us to understand and we can have discussions based around that and see areas for improvement. I use performance lifestyle to try and find other things in life that I can concentrate on, not just trampoline, so it didn't get so overwhelming. So now I'm learning to speak Spanish, hopefully, and um, I've realised that I have a real passion for travel, so um, everything that I do now is to kind of help with things like that, so learning different languages and hopefully one day to be able to teach English in other countries as well. Everybody's doing their part and going the extra mile. Um, and I think that's what makes the IS so special, is that everybody's wanting to be the best that they can be to help the athletes be the best that they can be.